Don't laugh. Don't say that. All right, question. Uh, <laughs> Told you not to. <laughs> That's because you set me up for it though, so it doesn't really count when you do that. You can't say anything. All right, here we go. Question for you. What do you say to an angry sweet potato? You say anything at all. You just butter them up. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, get another one. What does a British sweet potato say on a really sunny day? It's mashing outside. <laughs> I think my Brit accent is better than my Cajun accent for sure. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get on with the video. What up, guys, and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie recipe, we have got a remix. Wow. Yeah. We're going to add some sound effects, hopefully, to that so that way it sounds better, right? All right, so here is inspiration for today's video. First off, we are going to be remixing our low carb flatbed recipe. And that's because about two weeks ago, I got a text from a good friend of mine, Cassie Ho. You may know her as Blogilates. Yes, that person. She's huge, right? So she sends me this message out of the blue and she says, hey, just tried out your low carb flatbread on my video today. And it was amazing. I just feel that's the way that she would actually say it. I'm not sure if she said it that way, but she put this in all caps, like amazing with three G's. So that means it was like really good. And then she puts OMG. And so we just go back and forth and she ends it off by saying, so good, but we need some more variations. So today, Cassie, I got you. You know I'm not gonna leave you hanging. And I thought this was such a good idea too, just to show you a very simple way that you can remix your recipes that you just really love. So besides adding in the obvious stuff like fresh herbs and spices and things like that, what about adding in a vegetable to this? While it may change the macronutrient content of the recipe, you gotta just be aware of that. It is definitely going to enhance the flavor, the texture and color. And plus the best thing about it is that you get a boost of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals from the vegetables that you are gonna add in. So today we have a very simple sweet potato flatbread recipe. All right, check it out. All right, first thing we're gonna do is prep our sweet potatoes. So take a peeler and we're just gonna peel off all that skin. Beautiful. Chop off the small ends and then we're just gonna chop this into chunks and you can do one or two sweet potatoes depending on how many pieces of flatbread you are going to make. And then I like to make these a little bit smaller because it makes it faster to cook. Bring a pot of water to a boil and we're gonna add in our sweet potato chunks then cover and cook these until they're soft. This should take you about 15 minutes. Okay, so once the potatoes have completely cooled, you're gonna add them to a blender, and then we're gonna top it off with some full fat coconut milk. This is super creamy. And again, you want the full fat, not the kind in the carton. Otherwise, it won't work. Let's pop the top. Voila. Okay, now let's bring everything together in a bowl. Add in some super fine almond flour, some arrowroot starch. If you can't find this, you can use some tapioca flour or you could use some cornstarch. And then a pinch of salt. Salt bay action there. Give this a good stir and try to get out all those lumps. Then you're gonna pour in the batter. Give this a good stir. And yes, it's gonna be soupy and really loose, just like pancake batter. All right, now let's make some sweet potato flatbread. So first thing, fire up your nonstick skillet. You're gonna want this on medium to low heat. So to keep these uniform, I like to use a measuring cup. So this is about a third. You can use something like a, a fourth cup too, depending on how big you want these. And because this is a nonstick skillet, I actually don't need to add in oil, but if you want to, you can just give it a light spray. And once the pan is hot, that's when we are going to add in our batter. And so we're gonna flip it once over so the other side cooks, and then we're gonna flip it back over on the original side and let that cook again. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna begin to puff up. And the reason is that since you're adding such a wet ingredient like cooked sweet potato, you don't want this to become gooey and really mushy. So you, don't, so you wanna make sure that it's actually cooked through. So when it puffs up, it's actually cooking in much of the center. So that way you get a nice consistency, nice soft butter consistency all the way through. 
So what you're looking for is you're looking for the color around the edges to change so that lets you know that it's ready to, to flip over. So when you see the outside edges becoming just a little bit more yellow than the center pieces and you see them kind of bubble over, that's when you know it's ready to flip. So once these are finished cooking, you're gonna to wanna to place them on a cooling rack. So I'm gonna place this right here next to the skillet. It's just gonna be like clockwork. Boom, boom, and then boom. I'm gonna flip this over because it's just about ready. And this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this to kind of puff up right there in the center. We want our heat to stay really even. So if it's getting too hot in your skillet, then just decrease the heat just a little bit. We don't want this to burn. As you can see, just the center of it just begin to rise up just a little bit more. See how the edges right now are getting kind of puffy? Look at that. Remove it from the heat and place it right here on our cooling rack. Just that simple and then repeat. You want to spread it out pretty quickly as you put it onto the skillet because as you can see, <laughs> it cooks really, really fast. All right, let's try to give this a good flip. One, two. Ah! <laughs> that was almost okay, right? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Here is our beautiful piece of sweet potato flatbread. Crispy on the outside because it's been toasted there in the skillet, but it's very soft and malleable. So let me just, let's see if we can just tear. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like cheese. <laughs> you got the butteriness of the flatbread because the coconut and almond, and then you get really faint, subtle notes of sweet potato. And just like the last recipe, you can load these bad boys up with some guacamole. You can put some nut butter on here with a little bit of cinnamon. But you know, when in Texas, you gotta do what Texans do. And Texans love us some tacos. So I got some chopped chicken here, and we're gonna make these street style. Add a little bit of onion right here on top. Top it off with a bit of cilantro. But this is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. Really, this is all about variety. So besides just adding in some freshly ground um, spices and some herbs to the original recipe to change up the flavor, you can also consider adding in fresh vegetables. So adding in things like sweet potato, even pumpkin or some butternut squash, or maybe even just a little bit of beet. Just think outside the box about how, how you could change up an actual recipe to just give it a slightly different appeal. So that way you can trick your taste buds into having something that's completely different. Plus the good thing about adding in vegetables is that not only can you influence the flavor, but you also get another boost of the vitamins and minerals that they provide. So this is all about just that. It's, it's about the journey. It's about this exploration of food. So I hope that you enjoy this video. All right, guys, if you like stuff like this, I invite you to smash that like button below and don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified every time we post hot new content here. All right, guys, until next time, I wanna thank y'all for watching. Keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, bye guys.